Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to quickly create a face made of stars in deep space from a photo. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, click that small subscribe button at the lower right corner to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. If you haven't yet checked out my merchandise on Redbubble, click the card at the upper right or the link in my video's description to see my portfolio of posters, t-shirts, mugs, and so much more. Your purchases will be helping to support my channel and keeping my tutorials free. Open a photo of a face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to create a new document. Press Ctrl or Command N or go to File and New. Make its width 1920 pixels, its height 1080 pixels, and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. The background is black. We'll convert it into a smart object, so when we add filters to it, we'll be able to adjust the filters at any time. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel, and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Noise, and add Noise. Make the amount 100%, Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 0.3 pixels. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. In the Input Shadow field, type in 200, and in the Input Highlight field, type in 243. Click the layer to make it active and change its blend mode to soft light. Let's save some space in the layers panel by collapsing the effects. We'll temporarily place our subject on top of the levels layer. Make the levels layer active and open your subject. With your move tool active, drag the subject onto the tab of your stars document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To resize and position it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. If you're using a version of Photoshop earlier than CC 2019, go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. If you're using CC 2019 or later, just press Alt or Option as you drag it. If you want to reposition it, go inside the bounding box and drag your subject. Then, press Enter or Return. Next, we'll separate our subject from its background by making a selection around our subject. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, I'll use the Quick Selection tool. If you're using this tool as well, drag it over your subject to select it. To remove unwanted areas, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag over those areas. Once you've made a selection around the subject, Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to your subject. Convert it into a smart object and drag it below the stars. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black and White. Make your subject active and go to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. I'll make the amount 500%, the radius 1 pixel, and the threshold 0 levels. Since every photo is different, you may want to adjust these amounts for your image. Remember, you can always come back to it later. Double-click an empty area of the subject's layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. The blend mode is normal. The opacity is 70%, the noise is 100%, and the color is white. The technique is softer, the spread is 0, and the size is 20 pixels. The contour is linear, 
and the range is 50%. Change the blend mode to dissolve and reduce its opacity to 25%. Make the levels layer active and click the new layer icon to make a new layer. In this empty layer, we'll make a composite snapshot of our visible image. Press Alt Control Shift E on Windows or Option Command Shift E on a Mac. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click the RGB channel to make a selection of the stars. Now that we have a selection of the stars, open back your Layers panel and drag the composite snapshot to the trash since we don't need it anymore. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with white. But before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. This layer is now filled with stars. You can't see it now because they're too small to see. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. The blend mode is normal. The opacity is 30% and the noise is 100%. The spread is 0 and the size is 30 pixels. The range is 50%. Lastly, we'll brighten our overall image by clicking the adjustment layer icon and clicking Levels again. Type into the Input Highlights field 150. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.